So Friday, right before I uh, get ready to leave for that dance to Florida for a ball, I get this letter from from Energy, and they say that they're doing warning labels on the Kodiak generator, and this is one set. This is the other two. And one one is put on the AC adapter to plug in and charge the Kodiak. And one little square one is put on, on this location. And two are put over there. Okay. And basically they're warning people that people are not using the generator properly. And one says, this top one says, connect any charge, charge source, never connect any charge source exceeding 26 volts. And that has to do with connecting serial panel, which they'll go over in more detail. And rather than this is connecting third party solar panels in series configuration. Never to do it. Personally, I think if you don't know what series, series wiring is and parallel wiring of solar panels, and you want to connect, uh, Kodiak solar generator, then you should get educated real well, or you should talk to somebody who knows about it. And the other caution sign is never connect an external battery charger to any external batteries. And then it says never connect a battery charger greater than 12.6. Never connect any battery charge greater than 12.6 and if you look at my video where I connect the Maxstone battery it was greater than 12.6 now go over that for a second where I think I was okay and it says never connect any battery that is more than 0.1 volts difference than the Kodiak voltage prior to connection so they're really cautious and I don't blame them. You know, I'm sure there's, there, there's had people, and they show it, they've had people who connect a solar panel to it, but they connect them in series. And guys, you do that, you're gonna, you're gonna fry. You're gonna fry the Kodiak generator. If you connect them in parallel, and they have a parallel connection, you should be fine. But they say never connect any charge source exceeding 24, 26 volt VOC. And they'll go over that. So you have to make sure that the panel aren't producing more than 26 volts and they'll dug over the VOC in a second. I like to make a little commentary that I observe from playing with my Kodiak generator is that you know if you're supplying the Kodiak with power no way you should ever consider attaching any other source of power into it because the poor little machine is not going to know what's going on and there's an excellent chance that you're going to do some frying. Okay. So uh, I'm going to turn this page over. And uh, we'll discuss some of the letter that came. So uh, I'm going to hold it over. You guys could read it. I'm not going to read the, if you guys could pause the, the video and kind of read it. And, but I'm, I'm going to go over some of the 
safe use and storage guide. They say never collect, never connect solar panels or other charge sources exceeding open circuit, abbreviated VOC. So they're basically saying that you know, it's a 12 volt system. You need to be close to 12 volts, 18 volts, but don't exceed 26. And that's what they're saying, which is a fair, it's a fair request. They say, because most likely if you got more than 26, you got it hooked up in series. And, and that's, that's, that's a mistake on your part if you connect them in series. It's not their fault at all. They say, never connect third party solar panels in series. That's what I just said. This is a common solar panel using the MC4 connectors, which I did go over with you guys a little bit. That's how you connect them in series and that's how you connect them in parallel. And if you connect, connect them to the Kodiak solar generator, you should co connect them in parallel. Never store, this, this is why I got the visor. Never, never store a Kodiak in environment exceeding 140F, like a hot vehicle. Guys, I'm based in Florida. You know, three o'clock in the full sun. So I got the visors and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna make some screen mesh on the inside. And I'm gonna crack my windows open. Just a tiny little bit. And in theory, the visors will keep the dishonest people from knowing that you have the windows a little cracked. And never store a Kodiak, oh, see, read that. Never connect an ex external battery charger to any external batteries that are connected to a Kodiak. And that goes with my statement of, it's extremely foolish to try to put two different power sources into a Kodiak. And says, never connect an extra battery to a Kodiak that is charged higher than 12.6. Well, you know from my videos that it was higher than 12.6. Cause I think we took we took the lithium battery up to 12.8. So, but uh, the difference is I didn't have the solar. I didn't have the solar panel connected. And if I would have had the solar panel I may have fried it. You know, it could have been just that, that the fact that I only had one source connected to the to the generator, then it was okay. So it's a, it's a, it's a, why I guess I was lucky and then it has a uh, never connect the external ba battery that measures more than 0.1 volt difference than the Kodiak voltage at the time they are connected and then it gives an example of of of, of uh, it gives an example of how to do the 12 point you know the point one. I, I like to say, yeah. Uh, I like to say, yeah. Uh, I find that hard to to live with. But the way I'm going to live with it is, is that I'm always going to bring. I'm always going to bring my. Uh, I'm always going to bring my uh, battery the low voltage than the than the Kodiak solar generator. The when connecting an external battery or when the Kodiak generator doesn't exactly behave logically as 
I would feel it should. Then I talk about it having to equalize. So if you're going to equalize the Kodiak generator with a battery with less voltage, then the Kodiak solo generator, then there's just no way you could hurt it. And uh, now that I know I have this these limitation, I intend to please use the warnings that energy has provided us and the cautiousness that they want us to observe. And I think you'll have no problem. It's just a matter of these are uh, conditions that we have to learn to live with. Here is a uh, stationary of uh, the letter from energy. You guys can just stop the video to read it as you desire if you want additional information. And just the letter and signature. Let me switch it over to the warning label one. Okay, so this is the warning label one. And could you read the individual labels in detail now? In fact, I'm going to show you the way it's supposed to be put on and the warning placement and the uh, AC power supply. I didn't talk about the AC power supply. I never had this problem and I don't even know, but they say that if you get a flashing light, then stop charging. And I don't know, I don't know what that means. So we'll start here and I'm going to put, put it on every single warning light so you guys could kind of look it over. Just stop the video and read it. There's, if you want to scan it. And here's, Yep, this is the bottom one. That's the bottom. And this is the the top one. Just if you want to read it, think about it. You got it. Now let me switch it over to the solar panel one. Okay, and it's so basically I'm gonna switch it this way so, go do it so over here they talk about this is the serial connection some warning cautious fire body injuries that's their document not mine and the page is called, that's the name of the page. And this is how the whole page looks. And then I'm going to come in on the parallel configuration. And that's the right way to do it. And in my world, they will need to supply it. But I guess in the real world, they need to supply this kind of information. I would have done the research to get it right the first time. There it is, guys. You got the letters. And could read them interpreting. If you have any questions, let me know.